In this video, we're going to modify our code script so that Alonzo moves to a different random position on the stage each time that he's clicked. We're going to use blocks found in the Motion Palette and the Operators Palette. First, let's open our previously saved project. So we're going to go to File, Open, and it should be pretty easy to find because we gave it a good name last time. U1 L1 click Alonzo. So I'm going to select it and hit open and my code from last time is going to be loaded. Next, let's grab the pick random block over from the operators palette. And I'm going to drag it over to the scripting area to see what it does. If I start clicking it, we see that it starts reporting back values. So now it says 10, 10, 1, 3, 5, 1, 2, so it looks like it's spitting back or reporting back values between 1 and 10. Notice that the pick random block has a different type of shape than the other two blocks. Blocks that have this oval shape are known as reporter blocks. So reporter blocks report back a value so that other blocks can use those values. Let's go over to the motion palette and bring over a go to XY block. Now notice that this block has a different shape and it looks like it has a puzzle piece shape so it fits right under next costume and when you see that white bar you can let go and it should snap into place. Now go to XY has two inputs of its own. Right now they're set to 0, 0. So when I'm clicked, when Alonzo is clicked, he always goes to 0, 0. Perhaps if I use the pick random reporter block inside of the inputs of the command block, I can start assigning random values to X and Y so that Alonzo goes to a random position on the stage. So I'm going to drag over the pick random block into the X input. I'm going to do the same for the Y input by going back to operators and dragging over another block. Now, if I use this code and I start clicking on Alonzo, you'll notice that he's not really moving too far up, down, left, or right. And that's because the snap stage ranges from negative 240 to positive 240 along the x-axis and negative 180 to positive 180 along the y-axis. So if we use those values, negative 240 to positive 240, negative 180 all the way up to positive 180, if I start clicking on Alonzo, he's going to start going all over the stage. Now sometimes it looks like he's not exactly inside of the stage. Notice how on the last click, Alonzo kind of came off the stage a little bit. If we use these values, Alonzo might end up partly off screen. So maybe we should limit his movements to let's say negative 190 to positive 190 and from let's say negative 150 to positive 150 along the y-axis. Now if I start clicking him, I don't think he's going to come off the stage. And he kind of did a little bit. So along the y-axis, maybe we could decrease it to negative 130 all the way up to positive 130. And if I start clicking on Alonzo, it looks pretty good. The way that Snap works is that it's assigning the middle of the picture or the costume to that random XY location. And that's why if you go all the way to the edge, Alonzo will be partly off. So we have to modify our values to keep them within a certain boundary. Hopefully this video was helpful. So make sure to save your work by going to File, Save, and I'll see you guys in the next video.